latest and final sprint demo uh, for the exhibit's 2020 winter work cycle. This has been the culmination of a two-week sprint uh, where we've worked on many things, but uh, the things that we'll primarily be demoing today are two uh, main features, which has been our homepage redesign and our work on Search Across. We anticipate that by the time this video is published, uh, that these features will be in production. Um, we are going to be demoing this in uh, our stage environment right now. So um, some of the exhibits that we may be showing aren't exactly reflective of their state in production uh, or the items in them, but uh, just wanted to call that out. Um, the first thing that I'd like to show is some of the work that we've done around the uh, redesigning of the homepage. Um, as you may notice, the sidebar um, is now uh, not uh, here. <laughs> we now have uh, the links available in the masthead area. Um, so as you can see, we have the about section links as well as the more at Stanford links available here. Um, and this mimics uh, more closely some of the exhibit level navigation. The moving of that sidebar up to the masthead area it gives us more room on this uh, exhibits landing page to show at this page width, uh, for instance, um, four across where we would only be able to show three exhibits before. So this allows us to kind of get more, more content onto this page. Another improvement that we've made here is uh, some changes to the exhibit cards. Um, so uh, what you'll notice uh, is there's a little bit of a change of the behavior of how we're showing some of the additional content uh, about the exhibit uh, when I hover from uh, card to card. Um, so kind of uh, as opposed to the, the, the animation that happened before, we kind of have a panel that is pulling up. One of the important parts of this redesign is that uh, this has become more accessible. Um, so I am no longer using my, uh, my mouse and in fact just being acting as just a keyboard user and I am able to tab through and actually access uh, these different um, uh, cards. And as you can see, I'm able to see the content um, as I navigate through. So this is uh, an accessibility improvement um, that will be really helpful for uh, users who are not able to use uh, a mouse. The other feature that I'd like to show is our work on Search Across. So I've um, searched now for, uh, for mining. And what we're doing is we're now searching all the items in the exhibits application. Um, so these are actual items that have been added to exhibits and not any of the metadata of the exhibits themselves. I just wanted to ma make that important distinction. So we're, what we're searching here is um, all of the metadata of the items that have been added to the exhibits in our application. Um, so kind of a couple things that we'd like to call out are um, you can facet on the uh, category of the exhibit. So these are the tabs that uh, we allow uh, users to group their exhibits um, on. So like arts and humanities, uh, maps and geography. Um, so you can filter the items based on uh, the category of the exhibit that they're in. Similarly, you can filter the items based on the exhibit itself. And we've also added the, the date range uh, facet here so that th that can be filtered on as well. Kind of one thing that I uh, think is important to call out about the search across feature is that this does allow us to see when uh, items are in multiple exhibits. So in the case of some of these items here, you can see uh, this says in, it is in the Stanford Atlas and the Stanford Stories from the archives uh, exhibits. So um, if I were to click on this link, I'm gonna be brought to this item in the context of the Stanford Atlas exhibit. Uh, but if I were to click on the uh, item from the other link, I'm gonna see this item in the context of the um, Stanford Stories exhibit. We also have the ability to group these search results by uh, exhibit. So um, now you're able to see of all these search results, there's 14 exhibits that these items exist in, and you can kind of easily go through uh, and scroll through and see how many items uh, per exhibit and um, some uh, metadata and the, the thumbnail for them. Also, you can uh, go into the gallery view for this uh, by exhibit, 
so we offer uh, several different views uh, to the ability to, to access this content. So um, kind of very similar to the other search results views that users will be used to in the exhibits application. That's all that we have for now. Uh, thank you.